Kai, thank you for that. We're going to begin with breaking news out of Orlando, Florida, where Maitland officials confirmed they have found a plane and one of its passengers. What we know is that that plane originally took off from the Oconee County Regional Airport early this morning. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford is live there at the airport with what we know about the search and the rescue effort. So what's the latest, Nicole? Amy Tom, well, airport officials here say they still have not been notified that that plane that they found down in Florida is in fact the plane that took off from this airport early this morning. We do know that a four seater Cessna plane took off around 630. It was a plane belonging to Golden Corners Flying Club. Now they're not sure who was flying it because it is a co-op plane, which means anyone in the club could have been on board or flying. Now, if we take a look down in Orlando near Maitland, this is video from that search and rescue efforts early this morning. Now officials there tell us they got the call around 1115 stating that the pilot was having fuel problems. Now officials say that plane then went into Lake Maitland and crews began their search. But back here in Oconee County, officials say it's not required. So the pilot never filed a flight tracker. So they're unaware if Orlando was their final destination. But according to flightaware.com, the plane landed at Orlando Executive Airport around 930 this morning. We spoke to the Oconee County Administrator Amanda Brock, who says they've yet to be notified by the FAA that this plane in the lake that they have just discovered is in fact their Golden Corners Flying Club plane. They did not notify us yet. I would suspect that once they do confirm the tail number, locate the owner of the plane and identify anyone that may or may not be alive from the situation, that we would be notified by the FAA in a timely manner. Now, this is a very small airport with a small flying community, so everyone here does know everyone. So they're telling us that if this is, in fact, the Golden Corners Flying Club plane, it's going to be a very devastating day for them here in Oconee County. We're live tonight. I'm Nicole Ford for 7 News. Yeah, we can only imagine how tough it is for those folks who are waiting for word on this situation, Nicole. So what do we know about the club? Like, how many members are there in the co-op? Do we have any idea? Well, Amy, I actually tried reaching out to the co-op owner, but haven't heard back from him. They tell me here at the airport that it's always changing because it is a club that you can just join. A few years ago, they had a solid 10 people, but they say it could be upwards to 25 or 30 people. They're just not exactly sure without having the roster in hand, which they don't have without the club members being here. Amy. All right, Nicole, we will continue to follow this developing story. Thank you.